TFNN Headline News Update. Everyone, Basil Chapman here on this 9th of September, Thursday, and this is the Tiger Financial News Network 10 a.m. market update. Dow's up 79 at 35,109, dropped down to the under 35,000 yesterday. Now it's trying to get back. And we're going to be watching this because you've got that arch formation that we were talking about yesterday, that H pattern that we always talk about in terms of testing the left side low. Let's see what happens over the period of the day. We're looking also at the S&P, uh, which uh, the Dow is up 0.21%. The S&P is only up 0.17%, up 7 at 4521. And this is a peak G slash C in the daily chart for those of you who do Chapman Wave analysis. And what we're going to be following is can the can the S and P over the next few days, going to maybe Wednesday of next week, try to get you the 4550s, or is it going to slide underneath 44? Might put it at 4488. A close at below 4488 says, uh oh. We're in this consolidation phase. Now, the QQQ is a little different. The QQ, oops, the QQQ coming up right now. Here we go. That's the NDX 100 trading vehicle. Uh, trading up 88 cents at 381.64, made an all time high three days ago at 382.78. It's not that it's struggling to make new highs because it's up in the new high territory. But what's happening is that the MACD is flattening out. Stochastic's still very good at 94%. On balance, volume has pulled back. I said it was a little overbought yesterday. But what's really important here is that over the coming few days, 377 support is absolutely key to hold the vibration to the 384 level. That is really excellent action. IWM is a Russell 2000. It's got a nice day today, but it really has turned around quite dramatically from the 229.84 high of just a week ago. Here it is at 224.67. Now, what we want to look at here is just quickly, we want to look at gold. Gold is still down, made that peak D top in the uh, daily chart. We're looking at crude oil. Uh, crude oil is also pulling, was pulling back, and now it's just in a sideways range between 68. Well, it's at 68. But what we're looking at here is if we can get to 71.50, that's good. Under 67. Uh, it's a big problem. I'll be back in a moment for the Tiger Traditions Hour. I hope to see you there. Check out my opening call by Daily Newsnet. Thanks for being here.